Yo. What's going on everybody? Um so I've been gone for a couple days and if you know me, I you know, I don't really uh go for more than a couple days without uploading. I tend to, you know, keep it almost every uh, every day over here. <clears throat> Sorry, let me stop shaking my leg. I'm I'm a little nervous to make this video. <laughs> I hope y'all don't mind the uh, the headset quality. So I've been gone for a couple of days, and uh, you know I've been posting. I've been on the main channel posting and whatnot, uh, but I haven't posted here, and that's partially because uh, life has just been weird. You know, I was sitting there thinking to myself, right, like during this 2017 or 2018 era throughout life, life was probably how do you say it? It was more saturated. A post and now it almost seems like we're living in black and white times. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but I was thinking about this to myself. Um, and, you know, I've been going to the gym recently and I've been, you know, going out and doing a lot more things uh, that I kind of haven't been doing the past couple years. And I realized, um, you know, life kind of feels different now when i say it feels different it feels it feels different like it just it feels different compared to older times in life and it doesn't feel different in a good way it feels different in a bad way um this is gonna sound so corny or cringe right but when's the last time you went outside and you were greeted or you felt like you had some of the best hospitality that you've, you know, had. And in the, when's the last time you had some good hospitality? Let's just say you went down to the grocery store or you went down for a little walk and somebody smiled at you or, you know, they waved to you or even just like a little what's up? Hey, man, how you doing? You know, I thought about it and it's like nobody's like that no more. You know, I was man there's so many instances where the past like year or so it almost feels like people changed people changed in a very very bad way i'll give you a couple prime examples i was going to vons a grocery store right and as i was driving to the grocery store you know like there's some speed bumps along throughout the plaza a guy was walking, some bald dude, right? Walking, middle-aged, I want to say like 40. Um, and he was walking, and I didn't even hit the speed bump yet. Like, I, I was kind of far away from him. I would say like maybe 10 feet away. And the dude just was eyeballing me, like as if he was about to kill me. Like, he just, he had death on his face. Like, you better not get close to me or I'll kill you. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, mind you, I'm like already 10 feet away from him. But... It almost felt like he had this negative aggression towards me when I wasn't showing any aggression at all. You know? Now, that might sound crazy. It's like, wait, okay, a guy was eyeballing you. Now, that same very day, I went to the gym. I held a door for a man and a woman, right? A man and a woman. It was actually a couple. Uh, they were coming in together. And usually, when you hold a door for somebody, the least you could do is say thank you i waited a couple seconds i could have just slammed it on their face but i didn't and it's like where have people's manners and human thoughts wait where have people's manners gone i just realized i'm yapping about <laughs> i'm yapping about very very rude people now you might be wondering, okay, what else? What, what else has been bothering you? Um, well, truthfully, that's not the only thing that's been bothering me. Um, just, there's been a lot of things and world events that have gone over. Like the past two years. That almost makes me feel like the world is coming to an end. People are just so shitty. It's just like, this world just feels so crappy. Like, truthfully, it feels like such a crappy place. Honestly speaking, it feels like... A very terrible place and I was thinking to myself it's like hmm 
there were better days than this. There were days where I went outside and somebody greeted me with a smile. There were days where people have, you know, said thank you for me holding the door for them open. And there were days where just things felt a lot more simpler. And I'm not saying there's no good people in this world. I know I'm a good person. I know I am. Um, I think there's plenty of good people in this world. But overall, it's like this world is turning people into really shitty, shitty personalities. And it sucks because you kind of have to live around that. When you're a shitty person and you're not really somebody with morals or any ethics or any um, human, if you're not a human, literally, like if you can't just have some sort of respect for another human individual like bro yesterday like i'm just gonna bring you up one of the most negative things i've heard that has happened within the past 24 hours it actually happened less than 24 hours yesterday a cop 10 minutes down by my house was shot and killed and shot in, in his face for no reason no reason a, a cop now you know granted i am not the biggest fan of police and Granted, I, I know they tend to be out of line and power hungry. I'm not saying all cops, by the way, but that's just my perspective on them. I feel like a lot of people with badges. By the way, we have people that watch our videos that are cops. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this, but there's somebody literally watches our videos and they're a cop. Okay, listen. I know you're probably like, what the heck is this uh, filthy criminal Snapchatting me, right? Because that's what you normally say. But I just want to tell you something. Um, you, sir, your videos are hilarious. I'm looking crazy out here talking to <laughs> Babe, you got me out here looking crazy, bruh. Aside, I just want to say, seriously, keep up the great work. Your YouTube videos is what I look forward to. Like, I'll be coming home from shift and it just, I, after I take a shower, Sometimes it depends what's going on that I'm kind of like drained or just trying to mentally get myself together. And your videos, bro. <laughs> I'm still, I'm even watching the ones from like from a year ago, I think like two years ago, too. And dude, you are doing the damn thing. So keep doing out, keep doing what you got to do out here. You got me saying, like, let me get rid of these filthy criminals. Like, I, that's so wrong of me to say, but I can't help it. You got me out here doing this shit. <laughs> So keep up the good work. My perspective on cops is like I, I, I tend to stay away from them. I've been I wouldn't say I've been personally harassed. actually I have been personally harassed by cops. Um but I've just I don't portray that picture that all cops are evil. I know there's good and bad. I just I stay away from them because it's like, man, at the end of the day, I just don't wanna be near you and you you know what I'm saying? Like I don't like bro, who just wants to you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't just pull up next to a cop and be like, hey, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Like, you kind of just like, damn, hold on. Just keep, make sure your seatbelt's tucked. Uh, fucking both hands on a fucking steering wheel. You know, all that. That's that's just the type of person I am. I, I'm not somebody who's just like, oh, yeah, fuck cops. I hate them. I hope they all fucking die or some crazy shit. I have so much respect for the cops out there. I just, I, that shit, I have respect for everybody. And that's just who I am. But a cop was shot and killed for no reason. Helicopters swarm in my area, by the way, nonstop, just looking for the suspect. And it's just like, <sighs> it's so crazy because it's like the world we live in now is just, there's so much craziness going on. And it's like, dude, what if I walk outside today and somebody just has a bad day and they just fucking kill me? Or what if somebody just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I went to the movie theater to watch the new Five Nights at Freddy's movie. And the whole time during the movie, I was looking at both entrances and exits. The entrances to the right and left, and the exit right behind me. I was like, okay, there's an exit behind me. If somebody walks in here with a gun, it just starts going crazy on us. Best believe I'm ducking and I'm crawling to this exit or I'm getting out. I, I don't care. I ain't no Captain save -a -ho. I ain't gonna go for that shooter and just... No, I'm not. I'm sorry. We get into a situation like that. Nine times out of ten, I'm not your hero. Don't don't come looking at me just 
thinking that I'm gonna come save the day. No, I'm sorry. I have a lot to live for. I'm not saying my life is more meaningful than yours, but I do not want to die. And I know for a fact that it would kill me if I just... Man, I can't imagine myself. I'd just be like, fuck. I don't even think I saved anybody. And now I'm dead too. I'd just be looking at white. The world is just... Gone so shitty. Like, it's it's just terrible. The world is a terrible place. And it never once was such a perfect, sweet, heaven-sent place to be on. History relies within itself. We know what happened back in the days. There's been a lot of things that ha Of course, these are the things of nature that, you know, happen. And it, it's just like... It's a weird time right now because there's so much going on i don't know it just feels weird anyways guys uh i will be back with um uploads very soon i just i've been kind of just taking my time and kind of just just i don't know living life i guess i i've been here I'm still just around just not in the mood to you know show my face or camera turn that camera on and uh yeah mm, i love y'all take care of yourselves and i will see you beautiful people all when i see you all right y'all hey stay safe out there you are be safe be smooth <sighs> and yeah i love y'all bro i like this mic by the way it's like we can have such a close connection and there's no wires to it so i can literally just like hold on <laughs> like i can literally be over here or you know what let me walk outside let me walk outside i can literally be out here and now folks it's time to say good night we sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.